Hello my dear family members, the enthusiasm in my content I am getting from your side has just blown my mind. Your love in forcing me to upload videos again and again even though I get tired after my office time. By the way, as many of you are having Deloitte assessment within few days, that's why I am going to discuss an important coding question which was asked yesterday and this question or this type of question can be repeated again. So without any ado, let's start. So the question that was asked on 14 February that is regarding uh, print the sum of even numbers in array right. So the question statement is given an integer array a of size n write a program to print the sum of even numbers present inside the array. So I hope you uh, got to know right so what you have to do just uh, let me write, read the full question. So input format is the first line of input contains an integer n and array size right and the second line of input contains n integers each separated by a single white space right so the first line is the size of array and the second input is the space separated n integers and white space right so this should be the elements right okay the output format is a single line of output contains the sum of even numbers present in the array right so here is the sample input that is 3 is the size of array and 10, 47 and 30 are the elements. So among those elements 10 and 30 are even numbers right that is those are divisible by 2 right uh, after, divis after division uh, divis dividing with 2 we get 0 as the remainder. So that's why those are even number so we should add those values and return the sum right so here 10 plus 30 is equal to 40 so output is 40 right so i hope you understood again let's make it more clear by uh, seeing the second input right okay let's say the number of elements are 4 and sorry the number of elements are 4 and the elements are let's say 4 6 8 7 right so what should be the output that is if we divide 4, 6, 8 by 2, then we get 0 as the remainder, right? So that's why those are even and we should have added those inside our variable, let's say sum, right? So 4 plus 6 plus 8 is equal to what? For 18. But 7 is not a, an even number because after dividing by 2, we get 1 as the remainder. So we would not add those uh, the 7 inside the sum variable, right? So we should return 18 because 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 plus 4 is equal to 18 so those i mean 18 is the output of this problem or for this particular sample input okay so i hope you understood uh, what you have to do so you may be astonished that this type of simple and easy questions can be asked yes my friends this type of question are being asked right so don't be feared just go ahead with uh, being gallant right so now uh, i'd solve the problem in java right now uh, and uh, if you want a solution in python then let me know i'll try to assist, assist you okay so let's uh, solve the problem in java right so let me just write uh, let me take the input at first so first uh, is the sample input that is let's say n is the number of elements right so sc dot next int okay so what's the sc that is uh scanner class instance right so scanner sc is equal to new scanner okay and system dot in so why are we using public static void main string args and why the public why class why main why scanner why next int why why we are using these keywords if you don't know then please let me know in the comment section i will try to make a separate video on these i will explain all the keywords inside java right so uh, now let's focus on this particular question okay so as we are using scanner class so let's import scanner class java dot util dot star and we, we have taken the uh, size i mean the number of elements are n right and we have to take uh, the sample i mean space separated array input that's why we have to initialize 
the array let's say array is equal to new int and the size is n right so this is how we initialize an array inside java right okay now what we have to do that is we have to take the input i mean take the uh, array elements input right so for that int uh, i is equal to zero i less than error dot length or in i plus plus and what we have to do just we will take sample input how many times that is n times right so array i is equal to sc dot next int so we'll take only integer input right inside array i index okay so uh, now we have taken the sample uh, let's say input what let's say 5 7 8 10 right and let's say the size we have taken 4 right so now what we have to do that is we have to go through all the elements so let's uh, go through all the elements inside the array so how can we go through all the elements that is run a for loop right so int i is equal to 0 i less than array dot length i sorry yes i plus plus and now we have to check if the current element of array is even or odd so if this is even then add that value inside a separate variable okay so let's check if the current element array i is divisible by 2 then we have to add that value inside us variable let's say the variable is and sum is equal to 0 right so now I'll just add sum is equal to sum plus the element right so array i is the current element so we'll add that so you can uh, add like sum plus is equal to array i both are same in syntax right okay so now what we have to do that that is we have added the even value inside some variable now out of the for loop just print the value right so system sorry system dot out dot print what we will print that is the sum value right so this is all this is all what we have to do right okay let's run it and see if this is giving right output or not so the number of elements are four let's say and the elements are space separated so five seven eight and ten right and the output should be 18 because the only even numbers are 10 and 8 those that's why we are adding 10 plus 8 so this is 18 right so uh, let's run for another sample input let's say what was the sample input we have been given that is 3 10 47 30 right so 3 10 47 30 and output should be 40 right and as expected right so uh i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes are used here right so if you want uh in J python then please let me know in the comment section right and if you want any other companies uh, content then then also let me know and before ending the session i would just like to inform you that I have prepared a prime materials for Delight. I have prepared prime materials for Capgemini, Accenture, TCS, CTS, Tech Mindra. So if you want those, then please uh, let me know. Uh, knock me at my Insta ID, Instagram.com/techno.tvf. I will try to assist you. Right. So thank you for today's session.